What do you do when you think somebody is in your backyard and you're not sure who it is? Do you go out and check? Hi everyone, welcome to Active Self Protection where every day we do an after action report on a real life defensive encounter caught on video to make our training and our practice more evidence based. I am your host, John Correa, and today's video was sent to me by the homeowner out of Houston, Texas. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. A chase with Houston PD has ended in this neighborhood and watch on the right hand side here, you're gonna see the guy, he you know, bails out of a car and then he is gonna come around the, uh, the backyard of our defender right there. <clears throat> and then you're gonna see our defender, he sees this is going on, here's a you know, commotion in his backyard, comes out with a 22 replica of a Thompson, a, a Tommy gun, right? It's a semi-auto, of course, but it's a 22 replica. Sees what's going on, decides, you know what, man, I see this guy out here in my yard and I'm gonna nope out of there, close and lock the door. Dude is gonna come up, see what's going on, knows that, that our defender is behind his door, offered him a hundred bucks to let him in to hide from the cops. Our defender says, no thanks. So the guy's gonna rattle the door a little bit to try to get in when it doesn't work. He's gonna end up going out and confronting Houston PD and being taken into custody, no harm, no foul. It's an interesting mental exercise here. I think it gives us a couple lessons. So tell me in the comments, what would you do in this particular scenario? Do you go out back? Do you see what's going on? Do you use the cameras that you have and just stay in the house? What do you do? Let me know in the comments. Love the fact that our defender has cameras here. This is gonna be an important part of stuff that's going on. And you know, the problem that you might face may not be a problem that is actually about you, but just your neighborhood. So we see on camera the guy go by, and then what do you do with that? Well, listen, if you have a good set of cameras around the exterior of your home, there's no reason to go outside. Just stay inside your home, look at your cameras. Most of the modern cameras will have that stuff on, you know, accessible through the cloud. So you can look on your smartphone or your tablet and see what the heck is going on and stay behind closed doors. Now, you know, if you don't have that in this case, well, the door that he's opened up, friends, has glass on it. So just leave the door locked and, and look through the window. That at least maintains the barrier a little bit. Maintain whatever barriers you can, whether that's a peephole or something like that, or, you know, we've talked about this many times on the channel, the old school Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. Who is it, you know? Instead of opening the door, defeating your own barrier and putting yourself at risk. Now, I get it, he does that. He also has, again, a 22 Tommy gun. All right, that's kind of cool. But uh, listen, I, I, is that exactly what I would want in this particular case? No, it's not what I would want in this particular case. Guy that is gonna, could potentially be a threat to me and mine, do I want a 22? Wouldn't be my first choice. Now, could a, a semi-auto 22 loaded with high quality 22 ammunition do work? Yeah, it really can. You have very little recoil and I've set elderly people up with you know Ruger 1022s with stingers in them and you, you put 25 Bs in somebody and they're gonna do some, diff, that's gonna do some damage, they'll get the heck out of there. But also, I mean, the guy offers him a hundred bucks. Okay, he offers you a hundred bucks to commit a felony and, and become an accessory to a crime. Hard pass, fam, no thanks. Now, our guy, he emailed me this video. That's where it comes from. And he says, hey, you know, uh, the guy tried to bust down my door here. He, you know, he, he tried to use force to enter my house and I could have shot him there. The answer there is probably, he probably was legally justified because he is attempting to use force to break into his home. That's a home invasion. And so could he reasonably and objectively say he feared for his life in that moment? Probably, but I like what he did here instead, which is just the door hasn't been breached. I still have safety behind my door. I don't, I, it's not a must, it's, I, it's not I must shoot this guy. It's I could, but not I must. And so remember, if we only use deadly force when we must use deadly force and we're in a much better legal place, instead he lets him run off. I think that was a better decision. So good for him for not making an acceptable decision, but for making the good decision in that instance. I'd have preferred he not go out at all and use his cameras instead but instead he got behind the barrier. Use the barriers that you have available. Use the technology that you have available. Don't expose yourself and your loved ones to more risk than you need to. One of the things that I think we could do here, I don't know the layout of his house, whatever. If you know the problems in the backyard, 
get anybody away from the backyard. If you got kids, you know, whose bedrooms are windowed out to the backyard, get them out of those bedrooms, get them into a safer place, whatever. And then you need to get on the phone with 911 so that 911 knows what's going on with you and the dispatchers can coordinate that with local PD. Whatever you do, especially if you know there are cops in the neighborhood, I don't want you going outside with guns in your hands because jumpy cops do stupid things all the time or they, they reasonably fear uh, that their own life is at risk because they don't know who you are. And so let's not give them that opportunity and uh, to, to make those egregious mistakes. I think our defender here did a pretty good job. I'm trying to get him on the Ask podcast. It's been tough to kind of keep coordinated schedules and those things. We'll see if we can get him on there to tell his story. Uh, I, I do think at the end of the day, he covered his ASP.